as an aging population in Japan causes a severe shortage of care workers. Researchers hope AIRAC can ease the problem. It is an AI-driven humanoid robot designed to carry out tasks for elderly people who need critical care, such as changing diapers or preventing bed sores. AIRAC is being developed by researchers at Japan's Waseda University. The project is funded by a government program designed to foster disruptive innovation to resolve difficult societal issues. Professor Shigeki Sugano leads the research. As we are entering a super-aging society and the birth rate is declining, we will need robots' support in providing medical and elderly care and in our daily lives. Unfortunately, the current robot technologies are still in a premature stage when it comes to interacting with people and supporting them. The ultimate goal of our project is to somehow achieve that. Sugano says AIRAC can make physical contact with people safely and adjusts its actions in response to spontaneous human moves. A dwindling working age in Japan has prompted the country to turn its eyes to robots for a solution. Over the next decade, the number of people in the 15 to 64 age bracket is projected to fall almost 10 percent, according to the National Institute of Population and Social Security Research. This care facility in Tokyo is already experimenting with various smart devices to help reduce caregivers' burden. Its COO, Takashi Miyamoto, says a chronic labor shortage in the elderly care sector will likely only get worse. He believes the days when robots will work alongside human caregivers are, quote, certain to come. Resident Yukiko Namikata was asked about her view on the possibility of having a robot care worker. She said, isn't it a little too early for that? Care worker Takaki is cautiously optimistic about the use of robots. If such a robot were really created, I think it would be very helpful to us in the field. However, I'm a little bit worried that the warmth generated from human interaction between residents and caregivers and the subtle communication, such as reading the room and understanding the situation, might be difficult to replicate. Sugano hopes AIRAC can start to be put into actual use in various occasions by 2040. And by 2050, he hopes it will be able to work independently at a nursing care facility or even conduct medical operations with doctors.